Welcome, Scott here, happy roll. Let's talk about daily practices. Habits are very important to form because once we have habits, then it becomes much easier. We don't have to think about doing those tasks. It just comes automatically. Habits are very important. So let's talk about some best daily practices that I live by and a lot of successful people will have very similar kind of, kind of things they do every day and that will increase your energy, will um, keep you focused on what you're trying to achieve. Lots of good stuff. Uh, and there's quite a few of them, so I'll quickly go through them. And I also, uh, down in the description, there'll be a copy of, of this list as well, just so you can refer to it. So the first one, always consider four aspects of your life. There's your health, there's your wealth, there's yourself, which relieves your mind, and then the social side of things, relationships. A lot of successful people will focus on the wealth and then they have bad marriages or they get depressed or they get unhealthy, fat and unhealthy or whatever. So you want to keep all those four in balance. And when they're all in balance, that's when life becomes much easier. So if you try and focus on all those four areas whenever you're considering any of the following few things, okay? So consider your health, make sure you're healthy, uh, make sure you're looking mean, for wealth, um, look after yourself, your mind, and also um, your relationships and social side of your life. Okay, so always keep those in, in mind. So the first thing I want you to do is think about your perfect day. Not, your, not necessarily a perfect day as it is right now, but what you want to be in, in um, maybe a year or two's time. Where you want to be so that you can now consider your day to be just, just perfect. You don't have any worries. Um, your business is succeeding. You're healthy. You're, um, you're, you've got the right attitude and you're feeling really good in everything you do. You're really aligned with your businesses. You're aligned with your your family and your health and all this stuff, right? Everything's all looking good. Think of your perfect day. What happens from the day, from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep? Just make it about a A4 pages worth, just long enough to be, um, have lots of detail in it, to really make you feel like you're there, really believe that you're already there. And make this perfect day, and write it down, and then refer to that every day if you can. Just quickly read through it and get that feeling of just how wonderful you feel and how you're helping other people, how your life is good, how you feel accomplished in your work, how you've got purpose in your life, uh, your relationships are going well, all these other things. So your perfect day, that's a really important thing to do. Next one, more exercise, right? The, the health part of it, exercise. Now, um, a good time to exercise is ideally in the morning. Because when you wake up, you've had um, first side of the glass of water because you've been dehydrating all night, uh, and then you wake up and you and then you just just get the get the blood flowing, do some sort of exercise, whether that's a workout in the gym, whether that's a workout at home, whether that's just going for a walk, going for going for a run, doesn't really matter. Whatever suits you, whatever you are, wherever you are in life. If you're younger, you might be more more active. Doesn't really matter. It's just something to get the blood flowing. And then the blood's flowing, then your mind becoming active. And at the time, same time, you're not thinking about work. You're not tackling your emails and all these questions going in your head and, oh, I'm going to fix this and all those things. That waits for later. Right? When you start your day, you want to make it so that you're just focusing on your, your health. You can go for a walk. And what I do is I listen to podcasts or um, audio books or something while I'm walking just to my mind get some good ideas in my mind so morning exercise is, is a really good one um try and put in a meditation if you don't meditate and you don't see the value in it i urge you to give it a try um try and do a meditation every morning it doesn't have to be that long probably about 15 minutes is enough the one i'm using at the moment is a 30-day meditation and it just allows you to uh, focus on where you want to be in the future and feel like you're already there. Uh, so that's a good way of attracting it to you. The part of the law of attraction, right, is um, is, 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 is this process. 
And meditation is a really good way just to switch your brain off and just focus on what you want to achieve. So I'll leave that, that uh, link in the description for this uh, meditation. Try and do it every day. At least do the first 30 days just to see how you go and see what, how it works for you, how you feel about it. There's so many different sorts of meditations you can do. It, it's a massive minefield, but you can just search on YouTube and you can find any sort of meditation you want pretty much for free. Right? So lots out there. But start with this one that I offer you in the, in the link, just be able to go first. Um, now let's look at the another thing, which is um, goals. Uh, I mentioned before about um, smart and, and dumb goals. Make sure you've got somewhere you want to go, direction in where you want your business to go, where you want your life to go. With that direction, you can then work towards it. If you've got no direction, you don't know where you're going to go, then becomes a bit of a <clears throat> bit of a hit and miss approach. You don't know where you're going. You're wandering off in this direction. <clears throat> then you wander off in this direction and this direction. Have your goals set down, long-term and short-term goals. And then read them every day. Or even better, write them every day. When you're writing, you're using all four parts of your brain um, and it helps um, cement that vision for your goals into your brain. So you're your RAS, your reticular activating system, can then focus on areas of your life that you want to improve and how you can get there. When you're writing goals, you're telling your subconscious, I want to achieve this, and your subconscious in the background will be working out ways to do it for you. This is where all this meditation comes, comes into play as well. And lots of these, these paths we're talking about now are kind of coming together to, to reach your, your short and long-term goals. So Write your short and long, long term goals every day. Just, just one line. I want to earn this much money. I want to have a healthy body, or this kind of thing. Keep a, keep a track on them. Basically, the intention of this is to keep you on track and don't end up a month later going, Oh, I wanted to do this, but I forgot all about it. Right? Because there's so much going on in, in the world that you might well forget about it. So, by writing down every day, just reminds your brain exactly what you want to achieve. And the last one you can do is um, create a vision board. Probably heard about vision boards. You can do it on a physical board, print things out, articles, images of things you want to achieve and where you want to be in, in say, three years. <clears throat> you can print them out, stick them on a physical board, or what I do, I just go on the internet, search your images, I uh, do a screen grab or just grab that image, and I paste it into, I just have a, a spreadsheet, just paste images in there, and then I can then go to that vision board every day, just look at it and go, oh yes, I want to do this, I, to, I can feel I am this fit, I'm this fit, healthy person, I can feel I'm now driving this car, I can feel I now have this house, I can feel I'm now helping these people, or my business is thriving, all these things, right, stick them on your vision board, that's another great way just to keep you focused on where you're going in your life. Um, there you go, so that's just my little tips for the best daily practices that you can you can live by. Try and get them all done every day if you can. Make it a part of your, your habits and routines. And I'll speak to you in the next video. See ya.